Today I'm going to be editing this photo and I'm going to show you pretty much everything from start to finish. I'll show you all of the Photoshop techniques that I use. Uh, this photo has just been kind of a popular photo that is in my portfolio and that I've posted to Instagram. And I thought I would show you how I edited this. So enjoy. All right, so uh, this was a six or seven shot shoot. So this isn't gonna be a really long one, but uh, I haven't looked through any of these yet. I've just imported them and we're just gonna kind of go through and see what we have now. This was the uh, the first shot I did. It's just this really nicely lit office. Uh, this is just straight out of the camera. And there was two different, uh, several different versions of the shot I did. One with this door open, with this chair slightly tilted. This is just how it I showed up. It looked like this. Um, this right off the bat looks a little sloppy to me, so I'm just going to kind of see some of the other shots that I have. I did fire off a few with this look, but uh, I don't I don't think that I like it. So I know that I opened the door here. I think that's okay. I'll probably then I, I went and straightened up the chair, so I'll probably use this one. I actually like the the chair being more straight. Then again, there's something about uh, this one that I kind of like. So let's just flip between these two and just see which ones stand out. This has this is all lit up, so I don't want to use that. Let me find the naturally lit one. Okay, so we've got this, and we've got this. I don't know which one I like best. Um, when I do this, it blocks off the uh, this painting here or this this artwork. Um, but it is a more powerful looking image. Um, I like that tilted this way. You can see more li more light is cast on there, but you can't see the you know the details of the chair show up better than this one. But this one's just more lit. Yeah, this is a tough one. Um, You know, I think that I'm going to, uh, I think I'm just going to stick with this one. I mean, it's, you know, I, I don't know that the chair necessarily goes with this room, but I still love the, uh, I, don't know, I just love everything about the way this is set up. Right off the bat, I'm noticing that this picture is crooked. I probably should have straightened that in the room but uh, I'll probably have to figure out how to adjust this in Photoshop. That's going to be a real treat. So um, we're going to go ahead and mark this as a one. This is going to be an image we'll bring in. Oh, then I did some with the door open. Boy, now we've got some decisions to make. Part of me... I like the door because it kind of directs, but it's also, it's kind of balancing out this right side a little bit. But it's also slightly distracting from what's going on in here. Boy. Oh, and then I added, then I added the other door. Yeah, so we've got some decisions to make here, everybody. Got these three options. I think just for the sake of being clean, probably stick with this one. Because I'm probably going to tighten this crop up anyway. I'm not sure how yet. Um, I'll probably bring. Boy. This is a tough decision. I think I'm going to use this one, actually, because now that I'm looking at it, you know, this wall is kind of plain, even though there's the mirror on it, uh, but this does add a little bit of, uh, kind of fill, uh, balances this out. So maybe I will keep this option. Now it's just a matter of, I don't know if I did any lit shots with that door open, so I might not be able to use it. Doesn't look like I did. I think I just had that to add into the shot if I needed to. So what we'll do, I'll mark that, but I'm gonna have to edit these ones here. Okay, so these are obviously, I, I stood outside with my 8600, probably right over here and flashed 
the light coming right through here, even though the sun is actually on the other side of the home. This is probably what it would look like in the late evening. Um, but this is actually a really early morning shoot, probably about 9.30, 10 o'clock I shot this. So we'll keep that. We will, this is just another ambient exposure of that room. Kind of like what this has given us. Oh, actually this was, I think this was just maybe a misfire from outside because I, I see a little bit of light and I actually like what that did. So yeah, I'm gonna hang on to this one because I really like what it did to the little detail here, here on the desk. So I'm gonna keep that. And then this is just some, uh, I did do some flash pops up in the corners of this room to highlight some of this detail. And I, I don't know if I'll use it, but I wanna have them just so I can bring detail in if I need to. So here's the photos we're gonna be working with. These five, and I'm just gonna do a quick, um, tone balance here just bring in some of these uh, overblown highlights bump up the shadows just a hair just because I just want to be able to uh, I'm really just I'm not sure where this came from but I just I really like this detail here Yeah, we'll definitely be using this. I just like how this adds a little bit of uh, daylight. And then here's our base layer. So we're going to have everything based on this. And I think we're ready to edit. So we're going to go ahead and bring this into... Oh, I need to make sure I have this one ready as well. So this door, I'm going to maybe add in after the fact. I don't know yet. I'm not, gonna, I'm not sure if it'll even work. So we're just going to kind of uh, see what happens. Open these as layers in Photoshop. Okay, so we've got all these edited. We're gonna go ahead and align them. I didn't touch the camera or tripod at all, so they should be aligned, but you never know. Even walking around on the ground could uh, maybe bump things slightly, so it's always good to just align them. I forget to do this a lot, to be honest with you, but uh, it's a good habit to, to have. Okay, I need to find our base layer, and it's right there. We're gonna keep this door shot hidden for now. Okay, so now we're just gonna start adding some things in. Um, I will put this on top, because this is probably the last thing I add. Actually, the door would be the last thing I add. Um, now let's just kinda see what we have here. This is the... Uh, This is also that sunshot with the, with the desk there. We'll keep that. No, that was the right side. That's what it was. Flash right. Flash left. I don't always label these, but I am for the sake of this video. 
Okay. Dusk. Light. <clears throat> okay. So let's uh, let's just kind of let's just kind of go for it. So we've got this base layer. I just have to ask myself what I want to do. I want to add this sunlight in here. So we're going to uh, actually let's see sunlight. We'll probably do a luminosity mask or luminosity blend mode. Um, we're gonna bring this down quite a bit here. Actually, I'm just gonna switch this to normal because I don't know if I like what luminosity does, but I think that's good. It adds a little bit of uh, just a subtle light to it, very soft. And I'm just kind of curious to see what lighten does. Lighten might give me a good. And then it gives this weird. Um, there's a weird thing that happens when you do that, so I'm not gonna use that in the midtones. And I don't, I don't know this, the how to get past that in Photoshop, so I'm just going to keep it on normal, and I'm just going to bring the opacity down a little bit, um, and this is kind of what we're dealing with. So it's just adding a little bit of that sunlight, nothing crazy. And then uh, we will bring in that desk light, which was right in the front here. Actually, I'm going to put this on top. And what I'm going to do is kind of just... Just highlight that and add a mask. Whoops, and then I'm gonna, I'm gonna brush some of that out. There we go. So now just the uh, the desk is edited or lit or whatever. I think that's really cool. I think that was a happy accident. I don't remember lighting that, but I think I know that I, I did have some kind of misfire or something outside or I like had the flash in the wrong spot. So I do like what that did. And honestly, you guys, I'd almost keep this as is, but I do want to fill in some of this cabinet area up here. So we're going to do that now. So we've got the uh, this flash layer. And I'm going to switch this to lighten mode and bring the opacity down quite a bit. I don't want to fill this in too much. Just a little bit. And you can kind of see what that does. It's still maybe a little much, so I'm going to bring it down just a bit. 25. That should be good. And then we'll uh, do the flash to the left side here. So just to lighten mode. Bring this down a little bit. Now I really just want to fill this in and it kind of lights all this area too much. So what I'm going to do is uh, just kind of Fill this in a little bit. Brush some of this out because I really only need that cabinet area filled in a bit. So that should do the trick. And I'm probably going to bring that down just a little bit more. 11%. So I just needed a little bit of light in there just so it's not completely uh, black. And that pretty much accomplished what I needed it to do. Now, Looking at this image, I'm just going to ask myself, what's bothering me? Um, you know, there's a little flare here. I got to take that out. I got to take all these lights and um, registers out. I don't know if I want to add the door back in. I could. And let's just see what it looks like if I add the door in, okay? Um, let me think of the best way to do this. I think probably just. We'll just add it here. There's this yellow cast from the outside. I don't think that's going to work for us. So I could blame it on the door reflection. So let's just take this part out. And uh, let's see, we'll brush this out here. That's fine. Whoops. 
scoot this in a little bit, brush it out a little better. And one more time. That does it. And uh, down here, obviously, we'll need to fix. Okay, we're gonna do the pen tool on this thing. Get a little closer. Because we are going to be uh, brushing this out, so we need to zoom in a little, a little more. Get pretty accurate on this, if possible. I screwed up. Let's see what did I do. It's really hard to see, actually. Let's just take that away and we'll start over. We'll add one here, here, and then we'll just add the curve right here. That's really hard to see with the blue background, so. What am I doing here? I'm doing something wrong. Okay, got it. And we should be able to go all the way around here. Two about right. Eh, probably not. I should probably come to this one first. Uh, we'll come down here. Stretch these out. And what we're trying to do is um, we're going to mask this out eventually. And uh, we just wanted to get as close to the contour of this as possible. It doesn't need to be absolutely perfect, but it doesn't hurt to try to get as close as possible. Okay, and we'll go in ahead and uh, stroke this. And we should be able to brush this out. I'm going to add a slight feather on here. brush this out the feather is just to uh, not cut so hard into the edges really okay so I think that looks good I'm gonna have to probably also take it out of I'm just gonna do that now it'll be easy so there's no uh, round edges I need to deal with so I will just use this uh, polygonal lasso tool it's just a little quicker to use um, you can't make adjustments after you do your selections though. That's the only real downfall of this, but these are pretty easy and uh, you can do this relatively quickly. Whoops, I forgot to. So you're supposed to hold down shift or something in order to uh, add a new section and I forgot to do that. Let's see. One thing this builder is known for is that uh, he does, oop, I'm gonna have to get my uh, pen tool out for that, I think. He's known for uh, lots of windows and glass and stuff, so uh, 
I think it is important that I highlight this door because that probably is something that he would really want to uh, to highlight. And he wasn't at the shoot to have that discussion, but knowing him and knowing um, I've shot some of his projects before, I know that windows are kind of a big deal. It's probably good that I'm thinking like this because uh, it'll help him understand that I understand his needs and what he's looking for. And it's a good best practice for your clients know their preferences. Now, I don't want to completely take out this reflect because it is glass. So there is some reflective uh, things in there. So I don't want to completely take them out. So what I'm probably going to do is just a very light brush on this, maybe 20%, maybe even 30, just to take out some of it. And that way there is still a bit of a reflection in there and you can tell it's glass, but really it's the color cast that's that I need to kind of get rid of. So let's go ahead and just start with a brush. I'm gonna put it at 20% and just slightly brush some of this out. I'm gonna go back to my layers here. Just lightly. And then I'll probably go back and uh, just take out this color cast a little bit. So we'll put a uh, saturation adjustment we'll go to greens I think it is yeah it's greens we'll just desaturate that a bit and it looks like maybe even some yellows are in there yeah let's add another one Oh yeah, definitely. So we'll take uh, the yellows out a little bit. Whoops, what did I do? Let's add this, let's try this again. In fact, on this layer, I think I'm gonna switch it back to, uh, whoops. I'm just clicking away, you guys. We'll switch this to uh, yellows. And we'll bring those down. Just a little bit. I mean, it's, it's okay if there's a little bit of cast in there, but really the cast is coming from the grass out here, so we just want to kind of take that out. Yeah, I think that I think that does a pretty good job of doing what we needed to do. And I can even go a little bit further if I wanted to. That's good. Okay. All right, so I think we've got a almost finished image. I do like the door in there after all. Um, doesn't really bother me all that much. And I'm gonna save this as a Photoshop document before I'm done so I can always go in and take it out. Not a big deal. Uh, now what I need to do is straighten this thing and remove these extras. So before I go any further, I'm going to Command Option Shift E this thing which gives me a whole new layer up here. And then we're gonna start, uh, I'm gonna take, this, take these things out first because those are easy enough fixes. Whoops. Well, that's not cooperating. Let's try just cloning this out. That was really bad. Let's see. I'm trying to get too fancy. Let's just uh, sample from down here. Okay, and then we will, uh, I'll just patch this up here. Okay, there we go. There's a little bit of a color cast on the wall, but I don't mind a little bit of color cast. I don't want it to be like stale and sterile, so I'll keep a little bit on there. But the yellow on the doors is really distracting, so. I'll take this plug out here. And this could be a little trickier than you'd think. Um, it's because I gotta match the shadow up, so. 
let's try this first and just see what it does. Sample from up here. Not bad. Not good either, so we'll uh, scrap that idea. Um, yes, I know this looks really sloppy right now, but we're just trying to get the color in there and then I'm going to patch it, patch it up in a second. And hopefully that does the trick. A lot of trial and error when you're doing this stuff. All right, so let's go ahead and try to patch this thing up. Put a little scratch in the door right there. I did not do it. And when you're in this close, you guys, it does not have to be perfect. I mean, it has to be, we have to keep in mind the viewer. The viewer is not going to be zooming in, looking at this particular detail to make sure that there's no cloning artifacts left over. Um, but while you're in here, try to smooth it out as, as much as you can. And if you can't get it right, then, uh, Don't worry about it. So, you know, you can't really see those cloning artifacts. So it's, it's you know, we, we achieved what we needed to. Um, I don't see any other outlets at first glance, so I'm not going to really worry about it. Are those cables down there? Yeah, we'll probably remove that cord, remove this here. Let's see. And then I want to get rid of this cable. I mean, at this point, we're just getting really nitpicky, but it could be a distraction, so we're just gonna get rid of it so we don't have to think about it. It probably wouldn't be, it's probably not that big of a deal, but you're in here and nobody's gonna miss this cable. So just, just take care of it. keep these cabinet lights in there um, because that's kind of part of those cabinets it's not super distracting either uh, oh we gotta get rid of this here so we'll just patch that out leave this open one more time OK, 
Okay. Um, I'm happy with this. So the last thing we need to do, let's just take a look. Yeah, looks good. So the last thing we need to do is get rid of. Actually, what's all what's all this? No, oh, it's a lot like some kind of stand. Oh, I gotta get rid of this little plate back here too. Uh, let's see. Should be pretty easy. Again, we're just trying to get the pattern down and then we'll correct the uh, we'll correct this stuff now. So we'll just use the patching tool. You know, one thing in tutorials, I don't see people using the patching tool a lot. It's just, it's such a handy tool. So for right now, I'm having a hard time because this snapping guy keeps on coming up. I don't want that to happen. So let's just do this. Um, zoom in a little bit further. That, and then let's get this little portion here. Yeah, that happened. Okay, uh, we'll just take this part out. Whoops. There we go. Okay, good enough. Now I need to straighten this picture out. Ugh, why didn't I not fix that when I was on location? This is going to be a pain. And uh, if you guys have watched any of these other videos, the little things you should be paying attention to when you're on. I also want to get this hose out of here. The little things you sh really should be paying attention to can do uh, a little bit of damage <laughs> in terms of the amount of time you spend editing after the fact. So it's always important to take care of these things on location if you notice them. That's why it's also nice to have an assistant for this shoot. I did not have an assistant um, because I just didn't. So we're going to go ahead and uh, duplicate this layer just so we don't do any damage to the one below that. And we're just going to start off by doing a really sloppy selection here, and we can clean it up later. We also have to straighten the shadow out. All right, so um, let's just duplicate only that part. We're going to start by rotating it to where it should be. And you know, this might not actually end up being that hard. We'll find out. I might just be being dramatic right now. I've been known to do that. All right, so that's straight now. Now we just have to fix the edges where I uh, did some Photoshopping. So what we'll do is we will just make this a mask and hit our brush tool and just start masking Masking things a little bit. Oh, gotta put it back up to 100%. Oh, that's right, we need this shadow to be, uh, that's how the shadow's supposed to be. So let's just, oops. Subtly blend this part in. That's good, up here is good. We don't need to do anything with that. It's really this part we need to fix. So, the artwork itself is not important enough of a detail to notice to make that entirely accurate. So you can just kind of blend in the very edge of the chair to get uh, just to get the chair back in there the way it should be. And the, the edges of the picture don't really matter all that much. We're good, and we'll just fix this little portion here. What am I doing? I'll fix that after I flatten. Okay, so we pretty much, we're good. I think we got it back to where we need it. Oh, we gotta fix these little guys here. Um, 
Oops. No, we don't want to do that. Let's just Photoshop these out. And actually, I am noticing there's some edge things right here. I gotta fix. That's that's good enough. I'm just popping out just a little bit. Okay, I think I got it. And then after we, I'm just gonna do Command Shift, whatever E, and have a whole separate layer. And I'm just gonna Photoshop the ends of these, or clone out the, the ends of these rather. It's funny. I I say Photoshop things when I when I mean clone things, just because that's how uh, clients saw it. Can you Photoshop this out? Can you Photoshop that out? Okay, got it. So we've straightened our picture. Let's just see what that looked like prior. Yeah, I'm happy with it. Okay, so we have ourselves, I think, a finished image. I'm just going to look through quick, see if there's anything that's bothering me. I'm not noticing anything yet. Oh. You know, I am. This cable right here, we can probably Photoshop this out. The one that's actually coming off the lamp. Let's go ahead and just take that out, because it's not... Nobody's going to miss it. Oh, and there's a little plug back here, too, I'm going to take out. It's not that big of a deal. I know I'm keeping the light sockets in there, but those actually serve a purpose. This is just uh, a little distracting in there. This should be a pretty, pretty easy clone. to patch that up a bit okay and then I think I over did it right here a little bit, so we'll just kind of fix that. Okay. All right, I think we are finished. Let's get this hose out of here. Probably should have blown this window out a little bit more, but it's fine. It doesn't need to be pretty. We're going to patch this up in a minute. Whoops. Again, we're just uh, getting the thing itself out and then we will fix the texture after. All right, so we will grab the patch tool. Let's get a general outline there. Good enough. All right. Uh, so, one final glance at everything and see if there's anything that's bothering me. I don't see anything at a glance. So, I think we can call this one done. Let's just double check our verticals. I'm going to. Um, let's see here. First, I'll just. Mm 
Verticals are looking pretty good. This edge can probably come in a little bit or the bottom part can come out. Yeah, we'll do that. So the bottom right's gonna have to be skewed out a little bit. Mm, bottom left is okay, I think. Yeah, bottom left will have to be skewed out a little bit too. And that's fine. Okay, so we'll go ahead and we'll do that quick. And I'm thinking literally by like 0.01. Oops. If it'll let me, there we go, 0.01. 0 0.1 or whatever. Okay, I think we're good. Um, just out of curiosity, I want to see what a little bit of contrast looks like because it's, it is contrasty, but I want to see if I can make it a little bit more dramatic. Yeah, I think I like a little bit more contrast. Let's just see what uh, what else we can do to kind of push things a bit. All right, so this is what we got, you guys. Let's take a look and see where we came from. This is the original. Here's the final. It's very subtle. It doesn't look like I did a whole lot when you look at just the image itself, but you guys walked through this entire process and uh, with me and you, you see what, what it involved. I think the one last thing I'm gonna do, just to be sure, is... No, I'm good, I'm gonna leave it. All right, so we're gonna save this as a Photoshop document first, in case I need to come back and do anything, like remove this door. So, uh, Photoshop, save that. Okay, and then uh, actually, as I was saving, I decided that I'm going to add a little bit of a sharpening to this. It's a pretty sharp image, but um, I'm just going to see if I can add a very subtle, actually, wait, I need to flatten all this first. Then we will add the, uh, let's just kind of see what this does. Yeah, I like that. And what I'm adding here is a high pass um, sharpen. Um, it when you zoom in, it looks a little too sharp. So I'm maybe gonna bring this in, bring this back a little bit. But I just wanted to bring out a little bit more of the detail. Um, and I'm noticing this little speck right there. I'm just gonna Photoshop that out quick. Photoshop that out. I'm gonna clone that out quick. Okay, I'm happy with everything else though. Yeah, looks really good. Okay, so, oh, am I in this reflection? Nope, I'm not. Okay, we're good. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, flatten this up. And uh, I'm gonna crop a little bit to the, on the top here because I uh, actually the top and the bottom. Well, actually, I'll just do that later in Lightroom. So we'll go ahead and we'll uh, save as save it as a TIFF. And we're gonna open it up in Photoshop or Lightroom rather. We're gonna pick it and aid it. Green means go, means this is gonna probably end up in the final selection of images. And we've got ourselves a finished image. So uh, one last thing I wanna do first is just make sure I crop this now because I will forget later. And I am noticing that this is off center. So we're gonna go ahead and uh, bring this in a bit. I think right there is probably good. Somewhere in that area. 
And now that I'm doing this, are you seeing what I'm seeing? This light is off-centered. So I'm actually gonna go back into Photoshop and I am actually gonna take this light and move it over to the left a little bit. So we're gonna copy this layer, or duplicate this layer rather. I'm literally going to Command J this bad boy and just hold down Command, oops, and just nudge it over to where it's right over the center of this this light right there. So it should be more centered and I'm not seeing it did any damage to this wall, so we're going or the ceiling rather, so we're just gonna go ahead and accept that. And uh yeah, I think that's better. So just so you can see what we did. But we won't tell the builder that the uh person who hung the lights uh did not center the lamp properly. Okay, so we'll go ahead and flatten this and save it. There we go. A little, little bit better looking. And again, we're going to fix that, that uh, crop so we're a little bit more centered. And that's good. We've got a finished image.